YouTube, what's going on, man? I found this to be the perfect video to react to. If you don't watch Valuetainment, it's a YouTube channel about entrepreneurship and business and leadership. This is a guy who interviewed Kobe Bryant before he passed, rest in peace, Kobe. This is a guy who has built large businesses and is very successful and highly competent when it comes to finances and entrepreneurship. And so to hear his perspective on why he pays $72 for a haircut really piqued my interest. You know, this is definitely one of the videos I'm excited to look at the comment section because I know it's gonna be a lot of people who are businessmen, entrepreneurs, the type of clientele that typically would definitely, I feel like, be frugal about their money. But we'll see. We'll see what the comment section says. I've told you guys before, man, listen, I charge $100 for a haircut. Unless you're gonna be a model for one of my YouTube videos, then it's free. But I have clients that are willing to pay it, they're happy to pay it, and they come from all different classes. What I've learned is, just like you see people who earn different types of income, whether it's 30,000 a year or $300,000 a year, they all go out to eat, and they might do it once a month, they might do it once every couple months, but all of you guys go to a restaurant and spend a ridiculous amount of money for the same steak you could cook at home for a fraction of the price, right? And then there's people who earn average income and they really, really care about food. Once a week, they go do fine dining because that's what they like to spend their money on. Some people like to spend their money on sneakers. This is one thing we can't deny. People of all incomes are going to the Gucci store and buying Gucci belts. It's crazy. Like you go to the mall right now, there's a line waiting outside to get into the store. And I can guarantee you that's not all rich people. It's just priority. So for me, I built up a demand for my services. That demand has proven that I can charge what people are willing to pay. There's enough people out there that will fill my book. I can't service everyone. So yeah, I charge hundred bucks for a haircut. That's my experience with it. But with that being said, man, let's go ahead and check out this video. Patrick Bet David, somebody that I, I watch a lot of content from, love his stuff. Let's see what he has to say about it. I got a haircut, you know. Uh, Adam oh, got a haircut, well, right? Yeah. Well, I we paid some different prices, from what I understand. <laughs> Here we go. Prices. Here we go. I need so a haircut. So I go to get a haircut from this guy. Love this guy. Yeah. Great guy. Make, I had Rapatoni make a video to send to him for me to go to get a haircut. And the time comes to pay, seventy-two dollars and ten cents. I'm like seventy-two bucks for a haircut, not tip. What was it? It's ten cents 72, for? Seventy-two. It's uh, seventy bucks plus three dollars for the fee. So three times 70 is two dollars and ten cents. So why do you have that reaction to it? I said, look, I've never paid seventy-two dollars and ten cents for a haircut, and I've had a lot of great haircuts. Mm -hmm. Tell me how you determine your pricing. He says, well, you had an appointment with. Me. I said, so how? So let me look at the haircut. Everybody else was thirty dollars, thirty-five dollars. Kids twenty. Oh, so there's pricing on the wall. Pricing's on the wall, but okay. not the seventy-two dollars and ten cent pricing. Let's hear so this. So I go all the way down, and on the bottom it says, if you have an appointment, it's five dollars on top of whatever it is. Okay, so so if now it's 30 you're at bucks, thirty-nine. Thirty-five right. bucks. Okay. Appointments, no problem. He said celebrity haircut, hairstylist nowadays is $72.10. All right, I don't agree with that. Everybody should be charged the same price. You shouldn't be charged more because you're a celebrity. That's wild to me. That's just wrong, in, in my opinion. I think that's crazy. Because of your status or who you are, automatically you gotta pay more. I hate that. I hate when people come to my house to give me a quote because I already know they're thinking, oh yeah, this guy's gonna pay more. I hate pulling up to places with my, with my wife's car the Tesla because I already know they're already thinking this guy is gonna pay more. I hate that man. I think that's I think that's wrong. I think it's the wrong way to, to go about it, but I've always felt that way. Even before I've had some success and, and I've been able to grow, even before that I just feel like you treat everybody the same. By the way, you know what is crazy? Yeah. He is a celebrity in the barber community. No joke. Huh. He's got who, massive who, following. When he says celebrity haircuts, that means because you're a celebrity? No, no, no. For yeah. him, the, 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 the hairstyle is I wonder who it is. Nowadays. I probably know him. Following, wow. they get these $1,000 scissors. They get this equipment. You know what's the first thing I thought about? Here's right. the first thing I thought about. Every time I go to get a haircut, I always ask myself, why do barbers do it? Because think about the math. 35 bucks. Let's just say you work at a place, 35 bucks. The owner takes what part of 30, I 35 bucks? I think like bucks? 50%. No, something. Say, I don't know. Say the owner takes, you got to pay a fee for a chair fee. Of course. Fee. That's the part. Yeah. Say the owner takes uh, uh, 20 bucks, okay? Say you take 15 bucks. You keep 15 bucks of it because you got to pay mm -hmm. the rent. 
So you get another ten dollar tip. That's twenty five dollars an hour. Twenty five bucks. It takes an hour to give a haircut. Assuming you give eight in a day, that's how yeah. much money in a day? Two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars times yeah. twenty days in a month is what? Four grand a month. Four grand times uh, twelve is what? Forty grand a year. So the fact that he got 60 paid grand. sixty, no, forty eight thousand dollars a year, a good barber makes. Renting a- it. It's not true. It's not true. I have a series called The Six Figure Barber. We're going to do it this week. As a matter of fact, I'm probably going to schedule that series probably Wednesday night. I will do the Six Figure Barber series and I will announce that on YouTube and on Instagram. Make sure you bring your receipts. It's just, it's not true. Good Barber is making well over six figures. Some of these guys, I've shown receipts. I've shown tax returns. Some of these guys are making over $200,000 a year. So the math is a little bit off, but I get where Patrick Bet David is trying to say. I get where he's coming from. I thought it'd be more. The barber at 35 bucks is only making 50 grand a year. So when he charged me 7210, I went in the car and the first thing I said is, I'm actually happy prices are going up for barbers. No, I, hell no. I, let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. <laughs> the fact that there is tears that people are willing to pay this kind of money for somebody that does high quality hair. You do the math on the, math mm-hmm. on the 7210. Mm-hmm. How much does he keep on 7210? Take the tip, 15 additional bucks, because you do tw- uh, 20%, so it's thank you. Whoa, whoa. So it's 86 bucks. Okay. Shout out to Caroline. Shout out to this Caroline. Is cold? What is going on here? So say it's 86 bucks. Yeah. 90 out of bucks, the 86, right? he keeps 60. He does eight haircuts in a day. That's what? 480. Times tw- 20 in a month is what? 10 grand a month. Now the hairstylist is making what? Six figures. Good for him. So, but even at $72 haircut, a great barber only makes six figures per year. Okay. Think about that. They number. work when they want to work. I, They're not doing I don't you know, know hard about labor. That. They're not doing hard labor. It's a skill set. You don't just learn like it's not like it's a skill set. It's a, a craft that you have to hone. It's not like pushing paper at a desk, man. Yeah, yeah I don't know about There's that. There's a lot okay, of jobs okay. in America. How, like much yeah. do, how much do you pay for a haircut? I pay about 35 bucks. 35 bucks. Not, you're in Texas. Not complicated. I go, I go. Uh, the most I've ever paid 30, is 35 30, bucks. Yeah, okay. Yeah. The most ever. Well, you're in Texas. Yeah. In LA, I assume when you were living, you know, li- living your life in LA. Same girl cut my hair. No, no offense, but look at his haircut, right? Look at his haircut. Very simple haircut. He doesn't need to go to a barber that charges 100 bucks, right? The guy on the right is disconnected. I personally wouldn't have cut his hair that way. Um, he could definitely get a better quality haircut from a barber's perspective. But from his perspective, he loves his haircut. So he's happy with paying 35 bucks or whatever. And he could get a great haircut at 35 bucks. Even though this haircut isn't great, I know barbers that would cut it better for 35 bucks. But there's also barbers that we know as barbers would bring this cut to a whole nother level right it's only the clients that appreciate that it's only the clients that really really care and pay attention to to shape pay attention to how the hair grows that disconnected stuff most of them don't like and if they do they want it done a specific way those are the guys who are willing to get pay extra to guarantee every time consistently their cut comes out the way that they want it it's all subjective though Ladies and gentlemen, how much, for the guys, obviously, because women are I actually want to know, what is the yes. most you've ever paid for a haircut? And give us the city and the state. I want to see the but comments. I know just on average what yeah. they I want to see the comments. Okay, hey, Adam, what do you do? Who do you got? Well, he cuts himself. Yeah, no, no. Save well, that money. He it's just usually, goes up and just kind of cut my hair. It's, I mean, guys, come on. Look at that cowlick right there. Bro, that's bad. That's bad hair. No diss to the barber. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now, now I feel a little bit bad. I'm not trying to knock any barbers. This just does not suit his head shape. Like, that's not a good look. The hair growth pattern, all that good stuff. Yeah. It's usually he tells third- Mario, Mario, do this. You watch his how-to video on YouTube. And then they, every that's time true. I see him in the kitchen together. Yeah, me and Mario. Well, they uh, usually it's about 35 bucks for a haircut. It's about 70 for celebrities. D-list celebrities are about 25 bucks, so I pay about 25 bucks. And I swear to God, folks, if you were here on a daily basis, Adam's probably the biggest celebrity in our office. <laughs> I like that valuetainment desk, though. I don't know if you've heard. Okay, Ron uh, Armando Lapeda says 40 bucks, including beer. Can you tell us where, where, what city, what city and state? Yeah. Wilberto Rodriguez said 60 bucks. I want to know where it's So already you're hearing people in the com- in the comments saying I pay 60. I pay whatever. You know what I mean? Like there's there's even barbers that are like yo 60 is too much, 72 is too much. That's your reality, that's your opinion. Cool. Just don't knock the next guy. Please don't knock the next guy. she has got 45 bucks LA. I don't even uh, knock the guys who charge Brian $5 Solaris anymore. is the highest one so far. This one guy says 15 Dogecoin. <laughs> <laughs> 15 Dogecoin, that's what? That's uh, Last about week. 750. Mobile, okay, here we go. Adrian Brant Brannigan, $100 mobile barber in D.C. 
Fair okay. enough. That's, that's right. good to know, the market price for mobile, because you're driving, say you're taking out time. It's 12 bucks Miami. Adrian said 100 bucks. Damn. 70 bucks Oakland. 75 uh, in Nashville. 40 75 bucks in Burbank. 85 See? bucks in Connecticut. That makes oh, sense. Greenwich. What about I my boy that. Roland? I like his vibe. He goes, my mom gives me a Wait a minute, wait a minute. 85 in Connecticut? Angel Cortez, 85 in Connecticut. Wait. I know who cut his hair. Damn, I'm not gonna say who it is, but I know who cut his hair. I commented, I think I know who cut his hair because I commented on the post. I said, do you want to be known as a great barber? Or do you want to be a no, known as a great businessman? Yeah, so he says I want skill at your profession yeah. or run a business. Yeah, because he says I want to I want to be known as a great businessman. I said then you got to change your lens. He says what do you mean? I said so let me do something. So I step out. I said I want you to think I'm a celebrity barber, okay? And I'm in Boca. I'm a celebrity barber in Miami. I'm a high premium like you. I'm in Boca. I'm checking out my competition. I decide to come and get a haircut from you. I said I'm probably looking at your two hundred fifty dollars scissors. He says Pat, that's a thousand dollars scissors. I said great. I said, if I'm a celebrity barber, I'm watching how you do the fade. I'm watching how you talk to your clients. I want you to know the next person that's walking in is a businessman, okay? That everything he looks at is through the lens of a businessman. Fair, he says fair. So I walk out, I come back, and I sit. He says, while I'm sitting here, here's all I'm thinking about. Why are those three chairs open? He's losing money right there. That guy just did a haircut. I've been waiting here for 30 minutes. Took him to get a haircut. What's the price? $30. He gives him 20 bucks. He keeps in the uh, 15 bucks here. It took him this long to do a haircut. Math I'm doing, how many haircuts in an hour? Traffic, cost, electricity, how much money did he spend? How much do those chairs cost? Each chair, how much is he spending? How much does he make? I'm doing the math, right? He said yes. I says, you don't have the lens of a businessman. Your lens right now is the lens of a barber. If you want to scale your business, you got to change the lens and start looking at your business to scale. I've been preaching this, man. We glorify too much how much a barber is charging for a haircut. Who cares? I want to know how much are you making per year. I want to know what's your plan the next couple of years to scale that and expand that. 90% of my questions have to do with the lens of being a barber. You know, that's why I've been making a lot of videos that don't get much views and it's really killing my channel, but I've been making a lot of videos about strategy and what does it look like five years ahead and how to get there. But so this is kind of refreshing to hear. That's what I'm talking about. This industry, we put people on a pedestal based on who they cut. And that's great. Those are achievements. But if that's your claim to fame, that's not enough in my opinion. It's cool to get there. But what's next? How do you scale that? I want you to be making the same type of money that the rapper or the investor or the athlete that you're cutting, I want you to be able to drive the same car they're driving. The only way that you can do that is by scaling your business. Now, it's not the only way, but it's it's by scaling your business, investing, it's by doing the things that are necessary in order to grow your net worth. So everything that, that Patrick Bet David is saying right now, bro, is just, it's music to my ears. 30 mortgage office. It's a com in order to do the other part, you gotta change your lens. Simple as that. I remember I got knocked pissed off a lot of people by saying, if you have a one chair barbershop, you're not really a businessman. You know, you created a job for yourself because there's no way to scale that. There's no way to be to, to make money beyond trading time for your money. And it pissed off a lot of people, but I think it only pissed people off because they were looking at it from a different lens than I was. A father walks into the living room and says, oh my God, look at the view. Look how sick this is. Look at the hotel, look how sick the window is. A mother walks in and says, oh, look at the edges of that table. If the kid hits his head, yeah, we got it. That's the part. If we can Different lens, the man. Lens, and the mm -hmm. lens changes. By the way I've been saying that, man. It, that's the problem with barbers, man. It's, it's the lens, man. I've been putting this type of information out on my channel for the longest. It's on the Academy, all that good stuff. But people don't understand how important switching that lens is, man. Battle with what we got in America today is we got some screwed up people with lenses. Correct. If we change the lens, we'd actually get along and have... Good that's facts, man. I don't want to get into politics, but that's yeah. facts. You got politicians who have never had a job, who have never ran a business, trying to make decisions for the economy with strong opinions about businesses and entrepreneurs, but they can't see things from the lens of an entrepreneur. So dialogue is needed so much, but it's not happening like it should. I didn't want to get too much into politics. I understand what he's what, what he's saying. Let's see what the comments saying. This is what I'm excited about. Even though there were some amazing valid points, some amazing, amazing valid points, I can appreciate their perspective. This was a dope video. It's a video from somebody like him talking on our industry. Oh, look who's on here. Look who's on here. Pat, you should have me on this episode. Your math is a little off. Barbers make more than that. Commission versus roof threat is different. Look, Game Changer is on it. That's my dog, man. I'm gonna put something on here. Great minds think alike. I'll see you, bro. Like, do you think Patrick David, look, Patrick Bet David's time is too valuable for him to be in his bathroom cutting his own hair. 
That's my personal opinion. Like, no, Patrick Bet David should not be cutting his own hair. Joke is not on him. He's been going to the same person since nine, charges $10 and does it at her home. When I hear those type of comments and people like bragging about it, I think to myself like, how could you brag about that? Don't you feel bad? that you're paying someone that cares about you, that obviously you care about them because you're loyal to them, you're paying someone below minimum wage. Doesn't that bother you? Like, I don't get it, man. And people comment that, that like they're flexing on me in the comment section all the time. And I'm thinking to myself like, bro, that's not a good thing to say. I feel bad for your barber, man. I feel bad for your stylist. This is the most random topic, but I absolutely loved it. They turned the chair a lot more than one time. It depends, right? Dustin Cola said, I charge $90 or $60 if you get a six month calendar. I'm not playing around out here. A plus cuts only. Uh, and he wants me to listen to him in regards to money matter. These are the, the thoughts that people will have when a multimillionaire is talking. <laughs> what? Look, I see all this, all the interesting stuff on my feed and pick $72 haircut. That's funny. All right, cool, man. This was a great video. I really enjoyed it. Shout out to Patrick Bet David and the guys at Valuetainment. I've been watching Valuetainment since they had like 50,000 subscribers. And I remember they had this whole road to 100,000 subscribers in the next five months. They didn't hit it. They stayed persistent. And now they're, it's insane how big Patrick Bet David and Valuetainment has gotten. I'm telling you, I was watching them before 50K subs, well before. And I enjoyed his content then. I enjoy it now. Uh, make sure you subscribe to them. Link will be in the description below. With that being said, guys, we drop daily content on this channel. I will see you guys tomorrow.